Hello and welcome back to Break Tech. This is Doug and in this video I'm going to continue working on a new portfolio page using the materialized CSS front end framework. So first thing we need to do is uh, I think in our last video we verified that everything was linked and working. So let's go ahead and pull up what we've started with here. Alright, so we have currently a blank page. Let's also open up the materialize documentation and we'll go back to components and we'll start with the nav bar. So materialize comes with a bunch of different kinds of nav bar. Um, things like alignment can be configured and you can use your custom CSS file that we created in the last in the last video to customize anything you want about this but it gives you a good starting point. So we can go with a left aligned logo, right aligned logo, a centered logo with links on the left an active items logo uh, in the center or a fixed nav bar where the nav bar stays fixed to the top of the screen as you scroll. Also there's a nav bar with a drop down menu and then there's a nav bar where you have an icon or links as the, this is sort of a mobile design where you'd have like the little icons as your navigation. But what I want is the mobile collapse button. This is a mobile friendly collapsible navigation bar where everything will shrink down into a little hamburger and you'll have um, a fly out navigation that comes out of the, on the left side and we'll have all the same components or all the same links if you choose to as the normal one. So we'll go ahead and grab this code and we'll throw that into our project. And I'm just going to add a quick comment to say this is the navigation section. The navigation section is probably going to be about the easiest one we do. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a, a redesign just for practice of my personal site. So all I'm going to do is just change this to match what I need. So what I need is instead of a brand logo with the title logo, I think I when I did this before, uh, I changed this to my name and I think I put like a, just a short little tagline also in the menu at the top. And then the way that this flyout navigation works for on mobile screens is we have two different unordered lists and one of the unordered lists is displayed when the, when the hamburger is clicked and the other one is displayed when it's not clicked. So it's a, it's a toggle on off type of thing where um, these are displayed, like the second menu is display none until it's needed. So you could actually, the way it's designed, have different links. Say if certain parts of your page didn't work on a mobile screen, you could leave them out and they wouldn't be visible. So um, in the meantime, everything else, I think we can update here. Uh, rather than the boilerplate information, we're gonna say services, I'm going to have an about section. I'm going to have a section where I display some work. I have a contact section. And then I'm going to have one more, which is just a link to my blog. And we're going to get rid of all the links here. And then we can just take this menu we've just created and go ahead and copy everything that's inside and we'll paste that inside of this one and then let's go ahead and check and see what we have so if we go back to our site and save you can see we already have and this needs a little bit of styling but we already have a logo on the left and then we have a navigation section and if we check if we shrink down to a mobile size and this is too big maybe we'll have to change that take out the tagline or something um, you can see we already have our fly out menu left and this works well with uh, with uh, finger touch as well so that looks good uh, let's do a couple of other things um, for one let's go back to the navigate the materialize documentation let's look at colors I don't think I want like this pink materialized color so let's go ahead and see what other options we have if we scroll down here you can see the palettes that they've designed for us um, some of them come with accent colors some of them don't so just be cognizant of that. 
Uh, I think the one I liked was this blue-gray, which does not come with accent colors, so you can use colors from the other sections. Um, and I think the one I like the best is probably the blue-gray darken 2, maybe this one. And the way we do that is we just find the parent object on our navigation, and we just paste that in. So we just put that in the, the top level in the nav wrapper, and that'll change the background of our navigation to that blue-gray color, which I think looks a lot better. And it's a lot easier to read the white text as well. And then I think the white text is fine. Um, let's go into our custom CSS. I want to change a couple of things. Um, let's see. I think what I want to do is add a span. around the actual text just to add some different styling here and I'm going to give this a class of logo and I'm going to call let's see so I think I want to change I think I want to change the color of the text as well I'm going to change it to gray text and then I'm going to say text lighten 2 and what that does is if you want to address the color of your text through the CSS styling classes that they've given us, um, we use the colors from that list of colors on the materialized documentation, and then we add the word text at the end. And then as far as the lighten 4, lighten 5, darken um, the modifiers, we just add text onto the end of those. So let's see how that looks. All right, it's not a big difference, just a little bit. Um, and then I think we want to add a little bit of custom styling as well. I'm going to take this out. This is from a previous save when I was just monkeying around with the project. And what I want to do is just add a little bit of styling to my logo. And I want to say, let's play with a different font weight. This will be a little bit lighter font. Just see how it looks. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And now we just need to add a little padding, I think, to the left side of this logo. Maybe like, let's see what 10 pixels looks like. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Break Tech. This has been the first section of our redesign of my portfolio page. This has just been the navigation section. Stay tuned. In the next section, we'll be working on a hero image, and uh, we'll make it a parallax container as well.